Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my episode 17. And my episode 36. Of Mine's Netting on the Fly. I'm Highland. Uh, no, I'm the Five Reese of Wales. Wow. <laughs> a little off today. It's been a long, exciting day. So we are recording live from Windsor County Fairgrounds in Windsor, Maine, where Heather's had a good. nice, good day. This is the um, 11th annual Maine Fiber Frolic put on by the Maine Alpaca Association. I think it's Alpaca Association. It might be Llama, but I'm pretty sure it's Alpaca. Um, it's been a good day. It's been sunny. It's been freezing, oh. <laughs> cold and windy in the barn, which is where we are. This morning. It got better as the day went on. But I don't know if you guys can hear the, the sheep. sheep in the background. <laughs> <laughs> um, no cats, there's no dogs, there's sheep. <laughs> yeah, in this episode. And bunnies. <laughs> it's dinner time, so they're all eating. Yes. Oh, she got a spinning stool. There's a few people. Sorry, yeah. sorry mm. we're gawking at people walking by with their, their purchases. It's, it's been a good day for looking at other people's purchases. Mm. <laughs> we're going to show you purchases later. Yeah. All right, so, so do you want to start with jet setting? Sure, I'll start with jet setting. Um, I didn't. I brought the plane home in the last episode. Right? Yep, yep. You All I've done is work. Um, this week wasn't bad. I think it's a little bumpy, but actually the weather was pretty decent for the first time in Ever? months up here. <laughs> so it was um, nice to actually see where I'm flying and be able to see the coast and see that everything's green because we kind of missed that whole transition. So um, yeah. work was good, and um, everybody at work is finding out that I'm leaving. So, oh, are they sad? Yeah, which is kind of nice. My my regulars. <laughs> well, it's yeah, not like, yeah, she's yeah. leaving. See you, get out of here. Well, you know. There's probably a couple, but I don't like them anymore. They're yeah, all like, heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> they all love me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, people are starting to find out, and they want to know where I'm going and what I'm doing. and and uh, So it's been kind of nice. I've seen a lot of regulars this last week that aren't flying next week. So, oh, so your customers are... A lot of my customers oh, are finding out, because... The customers. Are you their favorite? Yeah, uh, I am. Of course I you fly are. a lot of the business people because I fly the middle of the week. Mm -hmm. So they fly out Tuesday mornings. They come home Thursday nights or Fridays. So I see them. I've seen them every week for two years. So mm. it's the guys that give me Christmas cards at Christmas. And Aww. so, but a couple of them actually fly work for the other company. So I'm still going to be flying a few mm. of them at Athena. So yeah, nice. it's kind of nice. So it was a good work work week work week work week, and then. Uh, yeah, and then I drove up here this morning and did a little bit of selling. Yeah. It was awesome. Good time. So, dye pots. We took everything down to protect it from you the weather. See it. You can't see it. We have one braid of fiber. And that's but that's Katie. mine. <laughs> you can't have it. It's the very last ultraviolet. Um, she bought the last two, actually. One is there. And she, the other one's, she's just like, we can hang one. <laughs> they can't have it, but we can hang it. <laughs> so, we hung it up. But, um. Yeah, so even all those things that I keep telling you every week that you can't see yet, you still can't see. But um, hopefully by the time this airs on my po on as my podcast on my channel, it's not my channel, but my blog, because <laughs> we're both gonna. We're, <laughs> it will be. Um, this is the same podcast. If you've already you're watched gonna, it and yeah. you're wondering, this sounds familiar. Just just click out. Yeah, because she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna air it and I'm gonna air it. So you can just mark one of ours pick as watch. One. Pick me. No, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, by the time this airs on my website slash my blip account, hopefully some of this stuff will be up in the shop. So maybe you'll be able to see some stuff. Yes. But I can show you what we've been buying. Yes. Wait, is that your next section? No, is I that just, at the end? I what do mine. What's knitting? knitting first? Okay, knitting you first. go. I forgot mine okay. over there, so oh. you start. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, all right. So I am knitting on the Summer Mystery Shawl from Wendy D. Johnson. It, Wendy Knits. And if you have not done Clue C... Don't look for the next couple of seconds. You can listen and I'll tell you when to look. Um, I haven't done the final clue yet because I've been right out straight. That's a main term, right out straight. Um, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> right out straight means you have no free time. Since mm. Thursday, I don't I don't know if gotcha. I've slept much since then. Um, but I did get through clue C, so I'm ready. It's only going to take like, I don't know how much you can even see of this. Um, it's going to take like half an hour, supposedly, to finish it. But this is knit out of Highland Handmaid's sugar maple sock in the greener side colorway and this was one that I had those red spots on it I didn't like it so I didn't sell it so I kept it and I don't know now if you can even see it but like she's just too picky no there really is red spots all over it and they were, look see look right there that's a red spot oh yeah see, well, see I don't like that well it and doesn't bother me bother but me. it would bother me if I had sold it You're and I didn't know about oh, it you know what it. I mean yep. so and I have 
a little teeny clue left and I have this, like I have half of the thing left. So <laughs> I clearly am going to have enough yarn. I could have done repeats, but Good I'm job. glad I didn't because it took forever. And I'm using my box bag that Katie from Knitting on the Fly made me. See, I really do use these bags. Here's my new goal. My new plan is to have all my friends make me bags so I don't ever have to buy any. <laughs> Because, I don't know if I showed this last week or not. Did I show off the bags Tina made me last week or did I just... I don't remember if you blogged about it. I don't remember. I'm trying to move everything it. so you can... I know I, I flirted it. Okay. So my friend Tina, who also is a fibery person and likes, you know, stuff. She heard me complaining that I wanted more box bags and that Katie made me one. She's like, well, I'm going to have to make you one too. I'm like, <laughs> She's going to yes. show me up. <laughs> so she made me this little kitty bag. This little kitty butts and kitties. And hers is interfacing too, so it's a nice, you know, firm bag. Hers, I think, and might even have the heavier duty. This interface. is the first Levi de Bois that started the whole thing. That's the pattern. And then I'm knitting on mine. I am one repeat away. It's really hard if you don't have a viewfinder to know what you're looking at. I know. Um, we're <laughs> using a camera, not a webcam. So so we can't see ourselves. So if it's off center, it's, sorry. Deal with it. <laughs> this is uh, the Levi de Bois. I'm one repeat away from starting the gusset increases. So hopefully soon that will be done because... <laughs> I started this last year at last year's Fiber Frolic in the Rain. I started this pattern and I have one in a third sock. Well, I guess I'm not the only uh, slow sock hitter. No, you've got, I'm, no, I'm, I've got you. So here's my Louis Dupont and I made, I made good progress on it this week. Woot! Although those of you on Clerk did see me complain that I screwed up the heel. Like, totally forgot it was a slip stitch heel so I like did all the turn, did all the, the decreasing the rep and turn stuff and then I just started knitting back and forth. Or not knitting, but <laughs> you did like stocking you did, and you stitch. You did one row of slip stitch, and then the rest. No, I didn't do any. Oh, no, you didn't do any. No, I didn't do any. Yeah, I did the wrap and turn, and then I just started going back and forth, stocking that, and I'm like, why doesn't that look right? I know that's not right. And then I went back and looked at the pattern, which was actually right in front of me, and I was like, oh, awesome. there you go. So I'd done like this much in stocking that stitch, and I'm like, wow, this is something not right. Yeah, slip one, knit one, slip one, knit one, not knit, slip one, knit across. So anyway, I turned the heel on the second one. Lop, it's hard to show these without it a blocker is. because the cables on it the is. top, the patterns on the top. Yeah, so like the patterns on the top, which I've showed before, but now I've got the slip stitch heel with the gusset increases done, and now I'm just, I just, I think I've started two, it. Yet. Two repeats or two rows. rounds, yeah, of rounds repeat. row of the repeats going. So maybe my mom will get her socks Soon for her next birthday, since her birthday was last week. It's all straight from here though. It you're is. Done. All it's the good. decreases are no, done. Everything all you do is. Yeah, so, and that's when the second sock took off for me. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know why I drag coming up to the gusset, but I just, oh, suck the light. Gusset forever. It does. It's like, wow. I've really? got gusset increases on a sock that's been two years. Ago. <laughs> so that's, and that's, talk about that? <laughs> that's pretty much all I've been knitting this week. I do, did pull out my cousin's wedding blanket. I wanted to have that done in three weeks. <laughs> Still at this much. So that will not be done in three weeks. Because I wanted to have time to prep for her brother's wedding. So I wanted hers done by June, so I'd have months to work on. <laughs> They'll be lucky if they get theirs for the wedding. But you're spinning too, right? I am. You're spinning. Yeah, I've spinning. been is spinning. There, is that a different section? That's, a, that's a different section for me, but I, it's What's right your after next this. Oh, it's right after? Yeah. Okay. So Because I, I don't have finished objects, so I can skip. Oh, good. Then spinning. Spinning. <clears throat> so, today. What did I do? I finished. Did I show the finished spin? Uh, yes, you decor did. Yep. Spin um, along? Yep, you did. 167 yards of a two-ply. Look nice. at that. She's got a memory like an elephant. It's just it's crazy. <laughs> like, I asked her what kind of spindles I have because she remembers. I she bought goes, them a year ago. What did I buy? What was, that? what was the spindle I bought last year? I'm like, it was cherry heavyweight and a bird's eye midweight. <laughs> I'm She's like, like awesome. how much did that bird's eye? I'm like, it's like an ounce and three quarters. She's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Don't I don't ask me where I parked. I don't know. I don't know where I parked. <laughs> but she can remember oddball stuff like that. So I got myself another cherry. This is seven eighths of an ounce, so it's extremely lightweight, and I just used that to test it, and it was fabulous, so I bought it. But I had bought this one first. This is beach, huh? So I remember. And this is just a straight one ounce. It's got little it's freckles on the top. It's probably really close in, but you can really see it then. But it's got little freckles. It's just like it's me. just like me. So anyway, I've been spinning, and to go along with grabby hands for what she has later. Yep. It's just some. Highland Handmaid's Falklands that I bought today. And actually, that's, <laughs> that's what she I did spun. that today. That was today while I was standing in the booth. And it's really a good, it's a really nice, pretty consistent. Yeah. Probably the most yeah. consistent I've spun. And you so did I it standing up. Is it standing up? I dropped a lot. This is what it's called. Drops. <laughs> I caught it with my foot. Sort of. And it's got the hand turn hook. 
Yep. And um, it's a strong hook, but it's a little bit more flexible than the cup hook. So if she drops it and it bends, she can just bend it back. Push it back over. Good. Good stuff. So yeah, so that's all I've been spinning. What about you? Um, I spin at shows. That's what I do. I've been spinning. Um, I started out with this really, it's a fiber that I used to carry called Punta. It's just a wool blend. And uh, it was in the Bloodlust colorway. And I'm not a big fan of this fiber because it's very grabby. And it's hard for me to spin it evenly. It is and even it doesn't matter how much I, um, it almost feels like it's starting to felt, even though it's yeah. not felted. Like it's just the way it's it grabs. It's very dense. Very, very dense. And I have a hard time spinning it even, and I get really frustrated. So I decided I was going to spin something that I wanted to spin. And this is the same colorway. It's the same bloodlust, um, which is just maroon and wine and burgundy. I tried to take it. But it is um, Superwash Merino Tencel. And if you want, I mean, this just, it just... It takes nothing to just draft that out and just pull it right off. It's so soft. And it's super washed so it won't felt. So I started out with, and I wound this off onto a, my ball winder because I'm lazy and it's I don't. It's the coolest trick ever. I'm this so is what I do. It. I take my singles and I put it in a shoe box and then pull it off and it spins so off it like spins. this. And then I just use my ball winder and wind it up. And now I have a center pull ball and I can either ply this from both ends or I can wait until I have another one and do that. But. This will probably, if it ever gets plied, will be plied from both ends because I'm lazy and I don't want to do any more of that fiber. But <laughs> the Superwash Merino Tencel that I've been spinning. That's really fun. Holy cow. It loves to be spun thin. And it loves to be, it's pretty even because it's so strong. Yes. I can really, I mean, it's thin. Yeah. And that's, of course, now I'm doing it with the wrong hand, so I'm messing up my beautiful comb already. Whatever. Um, but I just spin out in the hallway, hallway and stuff. We're at the very end of a long barn. And so to get people to come all the way down, I stand out in the aisleway and I just spin. And then people are like, oh, look at that. It sucks people down. in, though. It's amazing. You know, and she can be selling like, and I'll be standing there. And she's like, oh, I can't doing it right now. And I'm like, oh, crap, don't it's screw it like up. It's <laughs> like last year in the rain because last year it rained really bad and we were outside. And people were just walking by. They weren't even stopping. So my husband would be like, go out there and spin. And within minutes, I'd have pulled in like six people. It's like fishing. Just pull them in, and then you, <laughs> then you put it down, and you help them, and then, yeah. Here, buy them. stuff. Catch and release. And then, and actually, we had a group today, on a quick side note, that was what was watching me spin, and two of them bought spindles. Mm -hmm. And there was one girl that was really interested. She took a couple pictures, and it wasn't 15 minutes later. Sorry, that's my phone. It's not turned off. <laughs> <laughs> totally distracted. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she walked away. She then, walked away, and then <laughs> within 15 minutes later, she was back and bought her own spindle. So. Good. Yeah. Sucked them in. So, that's my spinning. Okay, dye pots, dye pots. Jet setting. Business growth, I'm here. <laughs> Got a good day. <laughs> um, processes, spinning. Hey, that processes is spinning to get people customer base. Mm. Yeah, it's totally a trick yep. I use <laughs> on purpose. Of course, manipulation. So, are we at grabby hands? Hold on, let me go through what, mine. Okay, jet setting. I got jet setting en route, take off, I'm not doing anything, landed, I didn't finish anything. Holding, ground stop. Work was as busy. It was my last long week, and I didn't do much the first few days. This is my last long day, they gave me a humongous break, which is when I finished the heel on that sock. And it hasn't been an overly productive week, but it hasn't been a bad week either. So it hasn't been bad. And so, yeah, I'm at reservation, so that's all the catch-all. So. Why don't, goodies. Why don't I start because I have less? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to talk a while. I, yeah. Actually, or you could go and I could get the, the I'll this talk. ready to show. So okay, you, talk, you, do you go first. Okay. Katie's going to go first. So I worked the booth most of the day, except when I helped out um, I helped out Wild Fibers for a couple minutes because she had to go. She was here about half the time. Stop it. It was not that bad. <laughs> Maybe it was that oh, I don't think it was that She comes bad, in here at like 10 o'clock in the morning with this huge thing of french fries. I'm like, <laughs> she's like, yeah, I wanted to gyro, but they're, they aren't serving lunch yet. And she's this huge thing of french fries. They were so good. I totally ate one. I didn't even ask her. I'm like, move your hand. I want a french fry. <laughs> That's we're fine. Good. I'm all good for we're that. Good. They were really good. Didn't you get some later? Yeah, I did, and they had honey mustard. Oh, I don't like I know. Ketchup. Well, I told them, I, when her husband went to get fries, she's like, they have honey mustard. I'm like, if you go to the fry stand, they've got like every single condiment you could ever want to put on a french fry. Are you, well, did they not? <laughs> they had vinegar and mustard and ketchup and honey mustard, and it was ridiculous. But they're really good. They, they're not like frozen fries. I think they're some kind of fresh. They were short little things, but they were wicked. They were really good. good. Oh. So... At the end, I ran out. Heather came back with some stuff that will burn your retinas if you look at it too long. So I was like, ooh. <laughs> so she told me where it was. So I ran over there right when the thing was wrapping up at 4. And she was still there taking stuff down. And she used to be Serenity, Serenity 
um, hand dyed. S R S E R E N K N I T Y. Yes. Serenity. Serenity. Seren yeah, it, it's, it's messed like that. up. That's one of the reasons she, she just changed her name. She, she, she no, changed she her name to Mad Color Fiber Arts, and she use, uses acid dyes, and they're ridiculous. This that. is Cupcake, and I have two of these, and it's like pink, and then like a darker red, and then a brown, and it's 60% Super Rush Merino, 30% Bamboo, and 10% Nylon, and it's a comb top. It's four ounces. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. So I have two of those. And then I got one of these because I liked the green. So, and I'm not much of a pink person, but I like these. This is Rock Roses. It's the same makeup, and it's got greens in it. So it's the instead of the dark red, it's got green in the middle. So I got those from her. Everything else I bought in Heather's shop. So I'll, <laughs> she can go, and then I'll finish with so her stuff. So Katie is here first thing in the morning to help me. It's just before we usually home it. No one's so here I yet. go. I walk to the bathroom, right? Because I always like to go to the bathroom before we start. So I at least have a few hours before I have to go again. <laughs> and I walk in, and Katie's like picking stuff up, squishing, putting it back, picking stuff up. And then she like puts her. And she's like, I'll keep these. And then she's like one handed. She's trying to look at it. She's like. <laughs> I don't know if I want that, because, and then I said, you know, Tina's going to be here later. And she's like, okay, <laughs> you give it to me. <laughs> grabbed it all. And then I put stuff down, and then I changed my mind. And then I put something back, and I grabbed something else. And, and then, then the thing that you really squished all day long spilled out from under, and you didn't get it. <laughs> what, did, what was it called? Um, it something was to be loved. Never to have loved. Never to have loved. And it was super a super wash, wash merino. And I'm just dumb. I should have just bought it. You know I could die you up. Something. I know. That's why I'm not overly upset. Because I know you If I ever it. do super wash merino again. She doesn't like dyeing it because it gets all clumpy, but oh. It's, so it's a beautiful fiber and it's fun to spin, but it's a pain it's, to work with. It's the same stuff that I showed a couple weeks ago that I had bought from her when the she limitless. was at Acadia. The Limitless, which is the blues and the white and the golds in it. It's the same fiber, but it was like purples and pinks and... Don't put that on me. Yeah, it's good for you. It's good for you. Lanolin on <laughs> me from her fleeces. It's like okay, my turn now. Awesome. Um, yes, until I get to my stuff. So go okay, on. okay. So cause your stuff. Right, because we'll end with a big advertising push for it. Highland Handmaid. Okay. Because I bought like so, a ridiculous amount. One of the reasons I had Katie here was because I wanted to go shopping, and my husband Kit is totally capable of running the booth. But every once in a while, he's like, "Really, you're gonna go shopping again?" I'm <laughs> like, "Yes." So I had Katie here, who's a spinner, and so, you know, between the two of them, I was pretty sure they had it handled. So I'm like, Except we don't know what the Corridor Cross is. Yeah. It's, What's um, it cross with? Well, whatever. Usually Fine. Lincoln, but it's not. Lincoln. It doesn't oh, say. Okay. Somebody asked that. We didn't know the answer. Um, <laughs> it wasn't on the cheat sheet. <laughs> anyway, so the first thing I did, I did take a little time this morning and go to the fleece barn, because if you don't get the fleece barn first thing on Saturday morning, it's gone. All the good stuff is gone. And, like, I had a woman almost break my arm because she had set a fleece down apparently well i come along and there's this beautiful black cotswold romney lincoln corydale cross like it's a little bit of everything fleece it's this beautiful rich black and it's soft and i had my hands in that thing and i was like ready to pick it up and she stopped and she's like uh excuse me that's mine i was like whoa like she sat down and walked away how am i supposed to know that that's hers whatever so Fine. We're throwing I elbows went at and the fleece sale. Thing. I went to where the other fleeces were from that same farm, and I bought one. Was just like, it. oh, did you? And I nice. got. A lot of the times, you have to buy the whole bag of fleece, and quite frankly, six pounds is a lot of fleece for me to process by myself <laughs> if I'm not going to send it away. So, I saw one. This one that I got, which is just Romney and Cotswold, and uh, it was sold half or whole. So I talked, brought it up, and I said, I want half this. So oh. for. Um, $27, I think, I got half of this fleece. And here you can see the crimp in it. This is in the grease. It has not been washed. Um, it is a curly, not so much a crimpy fleece. And it's a dark, it's almost black. And it has little, like, gray hairs in it almost. Kind of like me. Kind of looks like a young Don King. And the, and the little <laughs> tips are, are browned a little bit in the sun. It was a coated fleece so that he had a little sweater on him. So it was it's very clean. I really love it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Why that strikes me so funny. Don King. Half of all the fleeces I ever have look like Don King. When I put them on those combs, <laughs> it always looks like Don King's head. It's, it's, aside from the giant metal teeth. Wow. But, and then they had another fleece, and I don't generally look even at the white fleeces because I like the colored ones a lot better. I think they have a lot more, they just have a lot more character. And it's, for me personally, it's not for the shop. This is not anything I'm gonna sell, this is for me to enjoy. So, I happened to see somebody and she was like, oh, this is mine, grabs. 
she was totally doing grabby hands. I'm like, what did you get? She's like, look at this merino. And she has merino and I've never seen crimp. I've never seen a raw merino fleece. Mm -hmm. And oh my God. So I've immediately scouted the table. Like, Is there more merino over there? Like, oh, look. I got this. I, this one was a huge bag of fleece. It was $12 a pound, but it was sold by the pound. So I didn't have to buy the whole great big fleece. Nice. Look at the crimp on that. I don't know if this camera is going to focus. I'm just going to leave it here in case it, it's a slow focuser because holy crap. I hope it does. It is the finest crimp on a fleece I've ever seen. It, oh, I can't even, I can't even begin to describe the amount. I mean, it's, it looks it's, like if you took a crimper from the eighties and made it Barbie sized and then crimped it. Yeah. Like it's really a fine. I mean, the tips off got, you know, stuff in them, but that should um, clean out pretty nicely. It's not like poop. It's just like There's one dead mosquito. dirt. Yes. Um, it's just dirt, and it, I mean, it's 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 got a lot of lanolin in it. Um, merino does, so I don't. I might end up with eight ounces. I have no idea how much I'm gonna lose um, in the weight of it, but I don't care. It's for me, and even if that's all I get is eight ounces, it's freaking amazing. And of course, I tied it back up, so I guess that little log's coming home to me. <laughs> so that was the fleece, and then I went back to the booth and stayed there for several hours. And my husband went and got me lunch, and oh, I had this meatball sub. It was awesome. It looked awesome. Like mouth-sized meatballs. I was trying to eat it and everything was fantastic. And then at about 3 o'clock, I said, okay, it's time for me to go shopping. So I'm going to go really quick. And there's always vendors that I specifically look for. And some of them, frankly, weren't floating my boat. So I kind of wandered around. But I also went to, to me, she's Serenity. Her name is also Heather, but she's Mad Color now. And I'll be sure to link this in my show notes. <laughs> Mad. Here's the retin steering. Block your eyes. MadColorFiberArts.com. Well, this is the same. 60% um, superwash merino, 30% bamboo, and 10% nylon. Jeez. So it's going to be great for socks. And bamboo is um, naturally antiseptic too, so it's got good qualities for feet. And, and this is orange, and then like it blends into the pink, goes to the blue, and then goes down to this green. It's like Tropicana Rainbow. That's what it's, it's called. The color is called Wild Side. And it's totally reasonable. $17? Yeah. Totally reasonable. Yeah. Oh. So that was the first thing about like I just had to and she's wicked she is so nice she's so funny she is and she's yeah, and she's been very helpful to me as a vendor she has yeah. really she was the one who told me about the grid walls she was she had them she's like no this is the place you want to go and here's where here's the website yeah. and here's the thing she's just very helpful and I just love her to death so um, mad color fiber arts totally go there oh and as a side note about her um, if you go to her shop in the next month or two um, she is having surgery. Yes. Did she tell you? Yep. She's having surgery. She wrecked herself, basically wrecked her wrist getting ready for a show in February. So she's got to have some carpal tunnel work done. So she said, it, you know, if something sells out, be patient with her. Yeah. Send her an email. She can put it on the list to die when she comes she, back. But she um, she has that linen silk lace weight too. I've never seen linen it silk anywhere else. It was ridiculous. So and she has the same like day glow colors. It's really cool. Yeah, they're fantastic. And then I went to Enchanted North Farm and Josette. We had a short conversation because she's she's so funny. She's like, I have to pee. I'm one sneeze away from a catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you. Know. <laughs> So, um, I love her stuff. And Channel Little Farms is one of my favorite places oh to shop. <laughs> she wouldn't mind that I shared that on the podcast. She's cool like that. <laughs> she's so impossibly cool. Like, she's who I want to be when I grow up. Um, and I got this. This I've shown this on Friday Fiber Art Candy on Plurk several times because I love it so much. This is called um, Heavenly Day. And it is a three-ounce bat of wool, recycled sari silk, bamboo, and sparkles. Holy crap. Oh, I know. The gold Stand fibers by. here, that's bamboo. The gold in there. The gold is? And the, the, oh. I think that's the darker gold. It's like touching a cloud. I know. That's why it's called Heavenly Day. Oh. It's mine. Isn't that happy? I have no idea. I bought a bat from her last year or two years ago. <laughs> I should two years not ago. spin while I... The, the Black <laughs> Magic Woman bat this. that I bought. Yeah. Um, I haven't spun it yet. I, okay, so two years ago, something else that I bought at the Fiber Frolic had moths in it. And it invaded my stash. That was when I talked about... I, there was an episode yeah. where I talked about my yep. stash. And I had to everything. cook everything. I had to lay it all out, soak it, and then cook it. And I mean, I'm a dyer, so it's not a huge deal. Because I know how to cook fiber, so it wasn't a huge deal. But everything right. had to be laid out and dried. I and I was out. like... I, it, it was quarantined for months because I was so upset that I couldn't even like look at it. So I need to spin the Black Magic Woman, and now I need to spin the Heavenly Day. So hopefully this summer, when I'm not working, mm. I will have time with my... And you don't have another job this summer. No. I'm going to be all fiber all the time, baby. I might do summer school. I haven't heard. I have no idea if summer school is happening or not. Oh, so yeah. They are way behind the eight ball, and I have not. They have, they have not told welcome me. To, if you've seen welcome to the 
school. They're closing the school, so I don't even know. That's what Mom's is doing, too. She's like, how am I supposed to... I don't know. So we'll see, but that's what I bought. Um... I think that was it. I still have some money to wear. My husband gave me an early birthday present, which was money to spend for Fiber Frolic for me, not for the shop, because I was gonna buy fleece for the shop to sell. And I was like, he's like, nope, this is for you to go spend stuff on yourself. So I did. Um, so yeah, so it's just what you've got. Me. So I got the two spindles, which I showed already. Yep. And then I got the ultraviolet. <laughs> I was eyeing this at Acadia, and somebody bought it while I was standing there because I didn't move on it. So there were two. So I grabbed one, and then the other one was still hanging there. And it only lasted about a half hour. And I was like, nope, nope. So I put them both. So it's the 75% mixed BFL in the silk that is no longer carried. Yeah, yeah. the stuff that I don't have anymore. So, but it's grays and silver and purple and lavender. And it's three different shades of purple <sighs> along with the oatmeal. And um, oatmeal is oatmeal. Well, it's, yeah, it's well, considered kind of blends, to be oatmeal. It's like brown, but it's yeah, blended it kind of so blends much in. It yep. looks kind of oatmeal. So I've got, and, uh, I've got two of those. That's eight, eight ounces. ounces of that. And then this is the... You know you're making the camera shake when you do that. You're like, wham! Oh, yeah. Just saying. I hope y'all make, make y'all sick. Did I say y'all? Yeah, you said y'all. Ah. That's all right. I'm trying to be like more or less. Oh, that's nice. You need a trindle. <laughs> and we need better shirts. <laughs> I know. Oh, so here's our highly handmade shirts. Mine just says Fiberista. Mine she says is. enabled. Because mm -hmm. she is. Pretty much. Why are you laughing? <laughs> he's taking, laughing? he's taking, he's behind the camera, he's taking pictures, and he's laughing hysterically. Oh, because we're grabbing at our... Well, we pulled it away from her, but we weren't just like, yeah, yeah. I can do that if you want. <laughs> oh, look how pack eyes. Oh. And they're walking by. walking by. They've just so, been sheared. They're kind of naked. <laughs> Poor little things. Yeah, I feel bad. Sorry. You also bought Were those the fuzzy ones that walked by before? No, those were llamas that oh, walked by okay. before. Um, and then I bought the Falkland, which is what I'm spinning. That's Katahdin. Katahdin's the color. Well, it's Falkland fiber. Right? right. Falkland fiber Falkland and the Katahdin the... colorway. There you go. Katahdin colorway. And Katahdin is um, up in Baxter State Park. It's a large mountain. Maine's tallest mountain. In the end of the Appalachian Trail. There you go. I'm from Maine. <laughs> the funny thing is, is, I'm going up there to pick up a co-worker next week who is hiking the last hundred miles of the Appalachian Trail. So, he's currently... You should make him hold the fiber walking. and take a picture. Katahdin, on Katahdin. Ah. Yeah, no. I don't know if he will, but it'd be really funny if he did. Um, did that buy more fiber from you? Maybe not. No, the other one is back there. Oh, yeah. And then I bought sock yarn, because I, I always need more sock yarn. I guess, because I'm the slowest sock knitter in the history of the universe. I've been knitting socks for... Um, I win, remember? Oh, that's right, you win. <laughs> okay, so there's so, one person slower than me. But... I've been knitting socks for two years. My first pair went to Jeremy, and that was two years ago because we'll be dating two years this this summer. And I've made four pairs <laughs> in two years. I haven't even made that many. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she's a little slower than me, but two completed pairs, one and a third, and then the two that he's got two at a time that are like almost to the heel. Nice, it's nice. So I got Plum Crumble, which is 100 grams. It's 425 yards. This is the love. I've been eyeing this spot. for etern for an eternity. What? Red spot. See it? Oh yeah, there's a little pink. It's where spot. the pink ends. Yeah. I like she doesn't it. care. It's no, fine. I'm, I'm She she she's like. What? No, I like it. And then these are for a friends, or they will be for a friend when I meet them. It's greenwood. It's the same base, and it's greens and greens and browns and beiges Silver. and silvers and. That's that same gray that you keep calling purple. I keep. <laughs> But it, this doesn't look purple in this one, though. Because it's against the green and the brown. Just like my Probably. eyes are green, but they look brown because of my brown hair. I mean, she calls green. this silver, and I call it purple. It's gray. So it looks anyway, gray on your spindle. It takes... You know what, though? The it's true. Dramatic it's called it purple, too. It, it's fine. It's I just think it's just how gray. you... I think, but I think it's... Your, you're right. It's what it's against. It alters the tone it takes on. So, yep. whatever. I like it either way. You want to call it purple or gray or silver or... Cloudy call it whatever. Call it soul, mist. But... What I call it, that's all I can. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Money in the Bank. Ching. Yeah. So I had a little bit of my um, gift certificate from my honey left, so I used that and then doubled it. <laughs> I threw a little more. But you're getting your meals soon, and you need lots of I am, stuff to and that's from. that's kind of what I'm doing. That's what I did at Maryland. I wanted fibers so that when I get the wheel, I can just. Because I watched Mommy Needs Yarn spin like pounds of I know fiber. <laughs> When she oh, got her she wheel, time. so. Man, I wish she was a demon with that thing. Like, ah. 
I've had the same four ounces on my wheel for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> just... We'll see if I can not put my wheel in time out. I got this much, just much left. Finish. Of the, of the five. When? I'll have time now, but seriously, oh, it'll be another week. At least because I have to photograph everything, list everything, do yeah, the updates, she's... pack and all, mail it all out. So oh. buy lots, because then she can finish spending. Please. 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 So I think that's all I've got for grabbing yeah. hands and reservations. I don't have anything upcoming. What's upcoming? Well, Ooh, I've got an upcoming. I have an upcoming too, but totally different. It's so it's bizarre. Yeah, you can't touch it. Why? It's for me. <laughs> I know, right? Isn't it pretty though? It's like, it's I like can't the touch finest, it. Like, no, stop it. <laughs> anyway, so I have upcoming um, <laughs> because my brother and sister in law just announced that they're having a baby mm -hmm. very soon. They're like just, just newly pregnant. Like, Nice. Not even sick yet, pregnant, like new pregnant. Wow. So I have time <laughs> because they told me early. Right. I have baby knitting to do. So I've got, the only thing I'm going to be knitting right off is the Allen Dart Frog Prince pattern. It's a stuffed frog with a crown on his head. Nice. And I bought the yellow and green. Um, I bought Peace Fleece Wool, which yep. is another main company um, that has a pretty good mission. So I bought green and yellow for that. So I'm going to be doing the Frog Prince. Nice. And then after that, I have no idea. So if you've got yeah. good baby knits, the only other one I've done is the Sarge Cheese Booties. I've already been told if it's a girl, she can't wear pink. <laughs> she works for your honey works. I so know. really, like, they cope, they, no. There's no pink involved. There's no pink. I mean, no. they, these are, yeah, they're tough crowd. Pink. Yeah. <laughs> so, so no pink. So I've got to find baby knits that are gender neutral, not only because it's too early to tell what the baby is, but because even if it is a girl, no we still can't have pink. So. No pink. So baby knits, find me something to knit that's good. And not the baby surprise jacket, I've already got that. Like, I've got it. And the starch cheese booties. This, got it. How about surprise jacket? Hey, thanks. Got it. I'm on it. And don't say Sheldon blanket because blankets and me. <laughs> you don't like blankets? I might do the turtle, but I'm going to miss that whole blanket <laughs> bit. The thing with that blanket, it's so mindless that I can literally read a book on my iPad while I do it because it's never just knitting get done. for a thousand months. I would never. <laughs> Baby blankets are what I do. And see, I got the up. I got. A quick on the uptake for the friends I made that second Sheldon blanket for mm -hmm. that the baby beat me to finishing the blanket because apparently nine months isn't long enough for me to play on blanket so and I found out way early on too because they both went like stealth on Facebook mm. like they didn't show up on our friends list like both both my honey and I were like where'd they go like did we make them angry like do we make the Canadians upset because they live in Canada they're in the Toronto area and so I messaged I sent emails to everyone I knew in his family. So like his mom, his dad, her, him. I'm like, what's going on? Like, are you guys okay? And then I started to panic, thinking that maybe something bad was going on. And they had emailed me back and said, don't say anything. Because they weren't even to the oh, first, out of the right, first trimester. Right, right, right. And they didn't want anybody to know because the first maybe. trimester can be a right. little touch, yeah, so tough. My, my brother and sister haven't even been in the doctor yet. <laughs> they, she went to the hospital and got the blood test, so she knows she's pregnant. That's it. And they're like, we're telling her. <laughs> it was announced on Facebook. Nice. So they want they wanted to wait and they wanted to tell family in person, mm. and they did not want to risk someone on Facebook saying congratulations it, yeah. on the baby, and they hadn't even told family. So I totally get it. So I was just glad they were okay. Yeah, but yeah, yeah the baby still, <laughs> the baby still beat me. And I don't think they've got it yet. I think Canadian Customs is no the blanket, the baby. The the, they, they have the baby. They, they have, have the baby. They don't have the blanket. In the Canadian custom, custom. Customs has the baby. <laughs> they got the blanket. No, they did not. I, oh, I, at least they haven't let me know they've got the blanket yet. I'm, I I'm assuming. Them, she's like fondling it down here. It's almost disturbing. My precious. Seriously, like I'm going to go all golem on this shit. Get out of it. Oh, I swore I'm sorry. Explicit. Big red tail. No, you can swear once. Industry oh, okay. standard. Even, is that what even, it is? Well, let's what is Leslie like Norris say. Then. Is it like knots in a skein you get one? Yeah, there's an industry standard, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. Leslie swears sometimes, so she it's know, okay. I, know. I swear a lot, just not in the podcast. And I if don't I do, I don't even pay attention. <laughs> I don't generally. I, like, mouth it. Like, I bleep myself. <laughs> I do it a lot, too. It's a good time. Um, okay, let's get out of here, huh? My, my I feel only... like my face is sunburned. Does it, am I red? Yeah. Just a little pink right here. It's like windburn or sunburn. Stop laughing Probably. at me. I'm burned. <laughs> my I've only... been in the shade all day. I'm sunburned. <laughs> oh, Katie, did you know? Our anniversary. Whose anniversary? Ours. Ours mine. We met we one met year, ago year ago at Frolic. Aww. So we nice. did. That's why it's my anniversary for spinning and falling down the rabbit hole of fiber. We don't have month anniversaries though, like you do. We no. You have month anniversary. I don't put out this bubble. 
<laughs> Somehow I find that hard to believe. Do to do, do, your mom watches um, this. Do to do, do. Right, my sister too. She <laughs> understands. Um, oh, and just by the way, if you want to have some sawdust included with any of your orders with Heather, just ask her. And, <laughs> we had a whole debacle when we were setting up for this. We kept. <laughs> I picked First, up the chair to hand it over to save Heather a trip, and I didn't realize that. The chair had dirt on the feet from the. And all the sawdust. The so and I picked it up and it went all over all the fiber and stuff. So we were shaking it all off and then we flipped them on the floor and then I picked it up and flipped it on the floor again. So if you want to see here, some, there's still more stuff in there. So yeah, I was, that should have been on video because that would have been good. And it's really, it, I mean, this is a stall. We're in the cow we're in a stall. Barn. I mean, there's cow We're in the dairy barn. Next, on the other side of the wall that you can't see is the giant manure pit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I could not, not be kidding. closer to the giant pile of crap <laughs> if I tried. I really got top billing this year. Okay, maybe next year. I'll get be a in better spot. <laughs> um, my only upcoming as far as anything is um, this is my last week of work at Cape Bear. I've got three days left. So that's exciting and a little bit sad at the same time. I do like Cape Bear, but um, the part time thing's not going to work out. Aww. There's a lot of politics going on with that. So Cape Bear's loss, not mine, because I've got a very good job that I'm going to. But um, I am going to miss it. I'm still going to be around though. And, I'm sure I'll still go to the airport and bug all my friends. So um, so it's my last week of work with Cape Air, and then I leave Monday, of a uh, week from Monday, for training down in Florida. I will be at SimCom for seven days. I leave on Monday, and I'll come back till Sunday. Um, 3 to 11 will be my my shift, which my brain doesn't work till 3, 11, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Oh. Is my... To work it in with the simulator training, they adjust oh. the whole shift. So it's not what you're going to be working there. It's just what no, you're no, no. For the it's training. just for the training. Is, okay. is six days, which we didn't know it was that long either. So hopefully I'll have time to throw out a quick podcast when I'm down there, and all time to study and some off time between. So that's my upcoming. So um, there will not be a shop update Monday. Um, <laughs> it won't be out of the tote. It probably won't be out of the truck on Monday um, because it's so exhausting I mean it's exhausting to do a show but I mean in good in a good way um, I will hopefully have an update a week from then I'll have everything there will be updates if you are don't follow the blog go to highlandhandmaids.com and click the RSSS feed and just have it like you can have it emailed to you or your phone can update you I mean, there's all kinds of ways to do it um, or to just go check it. I suppose that's an option too, to just to go check it. Go click. Um, it. I will have pictures and I will write down what's going to be in the update so that you know when that update's going to be and what's going to be in it. So yep. at least you'll have a little bit of heads up notice. And there will be Superwash Merino in the update. So if you've been waiting patiently or not <laughs> to see <laughs> what the um, Superwash Merino is, unless you it's sell it all tomorrow. It's fabulous. It's so, Maybe the colors it. take mm. so well to the. Oh. It's awesome. And it's smushy. It's like the ultimate in smush. Yeah. It's so fluffy! I kept I walking by and it was on this whole panel She's here. She's rubbing it just... on her face. Oh. Stuffing it down her shirt. She didn't stuff it down her shirt. I did not. You said I could do that, but I had to buy it first. Yes, I said you can rub it anywhere you want. You just have to buy it first. <laughs> explicit. <laughs> I don't. I've never had it explicitly. I, I'm not going to do it. Uh, they get wait. mad at me. Anyway, okay. So I, I guess they don't get it. any warning. They can't. Was that it? That's week. it. All right. That's all I got. Happy spinning and next knitting, Nixing. guys. Yep. <laughs> Until next week. Take care. Thanks for tuning in.